Hello student, today class we are going to discuss the light chapter. Okay, as you know light is a, it's a very important chapter in your board exam. Not only the CBSE, it's also ICSE and 12th uh, standard, 10th standard, both the classes, the light chapter is uh, very important. Okay, today we are going to solve the uh, full light chapter, I am going to give the revision. Okay, uh, so which one is for class 10, it's CBSE. Okay, so light. The property of the light, one of the property will be reflection, the another property is a refraction, okay. So today class we are going to discuss uh, the reflection of the light and the refraction of the light. Before going to that, I am going to give some property of the light. So velocity of the light, the velocity of the light 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. That means light will be traveling 3 lakhs kilometer per second, that is the first property. And then another property, light will be traveling in a straight line, okay, the second property. The third property, okay, uh, it will be right, light property will be reflection, refraction and polarization and also interference, okay. So 12th standard, they should know everything, but 10th standard, only reflection and refraction, it's enough, okay. So these are the main property for the light, okay. Now I'm going to discuss about the, what are the optical properties is there, okay. Uh, for optical property, we can take it as a reflection, it's a mirror is the optical property, okay. So mirror, it's a one side is a painted, another side is a curved or plain or a, whether it's a concave or convex. The refraction property, the refra refraction optical device will be lens, okay. Uh, from the mirror, the light will be reflect. Uh, through the lens, the light will be polar, uh, like a penetrate, the light will be travel inside the uh, lens, okay. The light will be reflected from the mirror, okay. So, today we are going to discuss both the concept, okay. First, we will see what are the optical device, which one we can call it is a positive, which one is called negative, okay. See, optical device. So, optical device, there are two types. It's a, one is a mirror, another one is a lens. So, mirror. Uh, it's a one one type of mirror we can call it is a positive it's a curve and vex curve we can take it as a negative or uh, vex we can take it as a positive i will tell you the reason i will explain why it is a positive and it is a negative the focal length of convex will be it's a positive the focal length of concave will be negative one thing i want to tell you whenever you are hearing the concave word whether it is a lens or a mirror, it's definitely going to be the negative, okay. The lens is the concave and convex, okay. So, convex focal length is a positive and the concave focal length is a negative, okay. So, in CBSE, they asked one question, uh, name two optical device, negative optical device, okay. One is a concave mirror, another one is a concave lens, okay. So, mirror is a concave lens, also concave, okay. Uh, positive optical device, convex and uh, convex convex mirror and uh, convex lens okay now we are going to discuss uh, how the image is going to form okay there are two types of the image one is a real image another one is a virtual image okay so real and virtual so real image it's always inverted virtual image is always upright okay so it is a real image it is a upright image I will give you one question, you and your friend, okay, so you are looking in front, you are standing in front of the mirror, okay, so your image will be appear in the mirror, okay, in case it is a plain mirror, you are standing in front of the mirror, okay, the image, your image will be appear, if you suppose you are in one meter, your image will be one meter behind the mirror, okay, so in, from plain mirror, you will get your image as a, like a upright image okay so you can send your friend to backside and uh, tell him to capture the image with the screen it is not possible that means this type of image is a virtual image okay virtual image we are not able to take on the screen only real image we can take on the screen and also virtual image will be a upright okay so plain mirror is produced as a virtual image okay which one we are not able to take on the screen okay uh, so which one we are able to take the screen that we can take it as a real image okay so always upright will be virtual inverted will be real okay so upright we can call other name is a erect or upright image okay 
So the image can be appeared on the screen. Here, real image is a inverted image, or it's a upside down also we can call. Okay, it's going to appear on the screen. Okay, it can be real image will be appear on the screen. Virtual image is not going to appear on the screen. Okay, so next I'm going to do with law. Okay, so law of reflection. There are two laws is there. First I am going to do with the law of reflection. So law of reflection. So using the plane mirror. Okay. So plane mirror it is there. Okay. So yes yum yum dash is the mirror surface. Yum yum dash is the mirror surface. Okay. Uh, yum o is the normal. Yum o is the normal. Okay. So when you are throwing the ball on the wall, you can directly you get the same angle. The angle of incident in case 0 degree, the reflection angle also will be the 0 degree. Okay. When the light is passes through the normal, the same the light will be come back to the same normal. The incident angle is equal to 0 degree. The reflection also will be the 0 degree. That means the first law says incident angle, reflected angle, normal. Lies in a same plane okay incident angle reflected angle normal lies in the same plane the second law second law means see if we imagine you are throwing one ball at 30 degree from the normal okay so same 30 degree person they can catch that ball okay so it is an example i'm showing how the light is getting reflected okay if the you are standing at 30 degree from the normal means the same 30 degree person can able to see your image okay so it is an incident ray and it is a reflected ray. The second law is saying angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. There are two laws. First law is stay, say it state incident ray normal and reflected ray lies in the same plane. That means the which one the rays traveling perpendicular to the uh, mirror means it will come back to the same plane. Okay. The another example where the angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. Whichever angle light is entered, the same angle will get reflected. That is called second law. Okay. So, it is a law of reflection. Okay. Then we are going to see sign convention. It is a full review of the light chapter. Okay. So, you should watch everything. Then only you can understand all the, all the topics from the light. Okay. So, sign convention. So, sign convention is a normal graph only. So, which one we are going to take it as uh, rules, okay. So, uh, it's a normal graph I am taken, okay. So, this is the point of origin. So, origin is uh, some for mirror pole center and for lens optical center, okay. So, it's a graph only, okay, normal graph only. So, it is a zero origin. Left side to the origin, we can take it as a negative. Right side the origin, we can take it as a positive. Above the origin, we can take it as a positive. Below the origin, we can take it as a negative. Okay. So, in case we have concave mirror like this. Okay. The object we are placing like this. Okay. Object distance. Object distance means this distance. So, we can take it as a negative. Okay. Object height. That means this as the object height. Okay. So, height of the object will be positive. The same thing, we will just only example only, like this image will be formed, okay. So, image distance is a negative, okay. And image height will be negative. So, because it's a uh, height will be, it's inverted like this, okay. So, it's below the origin, we can take it as a negative, okay. The distance will be left side to the origin, we can take it as a negative, okay. Uh, so, one more rules, if when the light is going inside, we can, we always the light tray, should passes from left side to the right side. It is a another rule. Okay. So when the light this passes left side to right side, we can take it as a positive. Right side to left side, we can take it as a negative. Okay. I will repeat what I said. Okay. So left to the pole center or optical center, we can take it negative. Right to the pole center or optical center, we can take it as a positive. Okay. Below the pole center, we can take it as a uh, below the point of principal axis, okay, we can take it as a negative. Above the principal axis, we can take it as a positive, okay. These are the rules we are going to use in the ray optics, okay. Always you should take it light travel from left to right, okay. We can take it as a, that as a positive. Then right to left, we can take it as a negative, okay. One more thing, object distance, always you convert, uh, you will take it as a negative. It's a, the distance of, distance from <coughs> uh, optical center to object distance we will take it as a u 
the same thing the distance image distance we are going to take it as the v okay so u always will be the negative u according to the object position okay yeah now we are going to see uh, how the uh, some basic terms okay some basic basic terms okay first one see uh, we will take it as a mirror okay image formation by the mirror image formation of the mirror okay so i am taken as a convex concave mirror okay so here i am taken as a concave mirror and here i am taken as a convex mirror so uh, it is a one portion of the spherical surface okay you can complete the spherical surface so this center we can take it as a center of curvature okay the this line x y we can take it as a principal axis x y we can take it as a principal axis the center of this circle we can take it as a center of curvature okay uh, this is a pole center and it is a pole center pole center is a center portion of the mirror okay and this distance we can take it as a radius of curvature this distance we can take it as a radius of curvature okay uh, it uh, exactly center between the c and the p okay the center point between the c and the p we can take it as a principal focus we can take it as a principal focus okay again i will repeat okay x y is the principal axis p is a pole center okay yam yam dash is a mirror uh, it's a field of view aperture of the mirror aperture of the mirror meaning is a diameter of the mirror okay c is the center of curvature or is the radius of curvature f is the principal focus okay uh, so for for both the lens i did all the point here okay so for concave this is going to be a left side okay for convex this is everything is going to be the right side okay so uh, now we did some basic point terms for the uh, mirror okay now we are going to see image formation by the mirror okay so rules in uh, whenever i am teaching the rule or uh, whenever i am drawing the ray diagram that time only i will explain the uh, rules also okay first first image formation by concave mirror we will take it as a concave mirror okay first case object placed object placed behind c okay first one we'll take it as a very simple okay so x y is a principal axis x y is a principal axis and this is a concave mirror it's a center of curvature and it is a principal focus uh, it is a pole center object placed became the center of curvature that means object placed here okay i'm going to use the rule the light is parallel to the principal axis the, the light which is parallel to the principal axis after reflect it will be passes through the f okay the light which is travel principal through principal axis after reflect it will be parallel parallel to the principal axis okay that means image will be formed here okay so the object distance we are going to take it as a u image distance we are going to take it as a v okay again i will repeat the object placed behind c that means i place the object as a here i use only two rules two rules is enough okay no need the third rules if you want i will make it as a third rules also when the light is passes parallel to the principal axis after reflected it will passes through the principal focus okay when the light is passes through the focus after reflected it will it will be parallel okay so it is a object so object distance you will take it as a u image distance you will take it as a v and one more thing uh, it is um, the third rule when the light is passes at pole center it will reflect the same angle okay my suggestion draw only use only two ray, uh, ray diagram okay third one is uh, no need to draw okay so in case if you want to show if you you sure you know means you can draw otherwise you don't need to show okay so three rules we used okay and we, the image is formed between f and c okay so image is formed image is formed between f and c okay image is formed between f and c and also it is diminished okay it is diminished and it is a uh, inverted and inverted means already i said inverted image always it's a real okay so real 
and uh, diminished okay the image is formed in between f and c okay uh, it's an inverted image and also it is the diminished okay so these are the things we got from the diagram and also u distance will be negative v distance is also negative okay so object placed behind c okay parallel ray passes through the f center ray will be reflecting in the same angle the ray which is goes through the focus it will be reflecting the parallel okay parallel to the principal axis the image will be formed here in between f and c okay it is a diminished and a real image okay so next diagram the object is placed at c okay so second case okay object is placed at c object is placed at c okay so the same mirror i'm going to use it okay for concave mirror it is a pole center and it is a principal focus it is a center of curvature object i placed here okay so parallel ray will go through the focus Sen when the ray which is passes through the focus it will be going with the same parallel to the principal axis okay so the image will be formed exactly at c okay so image is formed at image at c okay uh, it's the same size so object and image will be the same size okay and u is a negative u is a negative v is also negative okay one more thing i want to tell you here u and v is a equal okay so u is a negative v is a negative as i said it's a inverted image inverted image means definitely it's going to be taken as a real image okay so it is a real image it's formed at c okay so we learned as a second second uh, example the object is placed at the c okay now we are going as a third image formation okay so object is placed in between f and c object is going to place in between f and c object is placed between f and c that means object is placed it is a pole center uh, it is a principal focus it is a center of curvature object is placed between f and c the parallel ray will go through the focus so the ray which is going through the focus it will be parallel okay so the image is going to form here okay that means the image height and object height object height greater than the image height that means it is a magnified image okay so it is a magnified image the another point it's a real image and it's a inverted image the another point it's formed behind c image is formed behind c okay and also it's a real okay so again i will explain the object is placed in between f and c uh, image will be magnified real inverted and also it is formed behind c okay uh, so this is uh, u and v will be the negative because it's a left side to the uh, pole center so we are taken as a negative u is a negative v is the negative okay so this will be this data will help you to do the uh, numericals okay so if you don't know which is negative which is positive means it's very difficult to do the numericals okay so now the object is placed at f it's a fourth diagram i'm going to draw okay so both the diagram so fourth and fifth i'm going to draw in the same thing okay object placed at f object placed at infinite okay so when the object is placed at f okay when the object is placed at f the ray is going to be a infinite okay so this one we are going to take it as a highly magnified image will be the real okay so it is a real inverted highly magnified highly magnified okay uh, so image is formed at image is formed at infinite okay the same thing when the object is placed at infinite image is formed at f okay so image is formed at f so choose a very simple diagram it's a very simple okay so when the parallel rays is coming infinite ray uh, infinite object always produce the parallel image parallel rays okay so parallel rays parallel rays will going to convert at the f okay so image will be formed at the focus so image at focus image at focus okay and it is a real 
inverted and it's a highly diminished okay highly diminished so see here and here it's a highly magnified in the here it's highly diminished okay so this two diagram i am not able to show how it's highly magnified how it's highly diminished because the object we are consider as a infinite here image we are consider as a infinite okay so from the previous data only here we are concluding it is a highly magnified and a highly diminished okay the fifth case it's a very important case the object is placed in between f and o okay It's the last case, object is placed between F and O, okay? So, it is a concave mirror and it is a principal axis, it is a O, it is F, it is C, okay? So, I am going to take it, object is placed exactly here, okay? So, object I am taken here, parallel ray will go into the focus center ray and we uh, center ray it will come back to the same path okay that means i got as a divergent ray divergent ray always focus as the back side so image will be formed at here okay so uh, it is uh, it's a magnified image okay so uh, you will be the negative you will be the negative and we will be the positive okay it's a special case for concave mirror okay the only one position we will get as a virtual image this is the position the object placed in between f and o we will get as a virtual and magnified image okay so it is a virtual image virtual image magnified image and uh, it is formed uh, opposite side of the mirror otherwise opposite side of the object okay it's formed opposite side of the opposite side of the mirror or opposite side to the object anything you can tell okay it's a virtual magnified and uh, image is formed back side to the mirror okay so it is our final case final case we finished as a six case image formation of the concave mirror now we are going with the convex mirror okay so convex mirror is a very very simple okay now i am going to explain how the convex mirror will be there okay for convex mirror okay for convex mirror there are two cases one is the object is placed at infinite the another one is the object is placed between infinite and optical uh, pole center okay one is the uh, object is placed at infinite another one is the uh, object is placed between infinite and pole center okay only two cases why you want this this mirror having only two cases the reason is uh, this mirror is going to produce as uh, always upright and virtual image okay so when the image is in object is infinite all rays will be the parallel so this side will be the f this side will be the c the parallel ray will be converged it will be deviate away from the focus okay deviate away from the focus this will be converged at the principal focus that means image will be formed at f okay so in this case the same thing the object is placed in between uh, pole center and infinite okay the object is placed anywhere between this two point i placed here okay the parallel ray will reflect away from the principal focus okay so center ray the ray which is fall on the pole center it will be reflect in the same angle okay so both will be converged here so upright virtual diminished image is produced okay here also same thing the image characterization will be upright virtual diminished okay the question will be asked which type of mirror will be produced always upright virtual uh, and diminished okay so convex mirror will be produced always virtual upright diminished image okay the only difference this case and that case here image is formed at f here image is formed at in between p and f okay so here image is formed at f okay here image is formed formed between f and c okay uh, so remaining it is a virtual upright diminished this three points is common for both the diagram it is upright diminished uh, virtual okay so now we are going with the uses of convex mirror and concave mirror Uh, 
uses of convex mirror will be uh, torch light and a searching light a vehicle headlight and a shaving mirror these are the place we will use as a convex mirror okay using of concave mirror will be a uh, car headlight okay and a car side mirror okay and this and all will be used so okay i will repeat again okay torch light search light okay vehicle headlight okay and a shaving mirror these are the place they will use as a concave mirror okay for torch light how the concave mirror is used okay so they will place as the light as at exactly focus okay so this is a concave mirror they place the light at the focus okay that means the ray will be going till infinite okay so one time the last time cdc question which type of mirror is used for solar furnace solar furnace also they will use as the concave mirror uh, so to focus the image at one point okay so this is a principle of solar furnace furnace or solar heater okay this place is going to become as a very hot okay and the another place searching light torch light car headlight this are the place we are going to use as a concave mirror okay so concave mirror we will use as a, this are the place and another thing convex mirror where we will use as a convex mirror only the field of view will be where the more field of view you have to view that is a place you should use as the convex mirror the one point car side mirror car side mirror has to look with the overall uh, road okay so that will be the bigger field of view that is the convex mirror okay the another portion uh, double decker bus they will have in a uh, like a starter case okay uh, so when the one person is going they will look top okay so the field of area will be more they can they will come to know the other person is going to come or not the same thing when the car is turn in a u turn okay that place they will keep as a convex mirror some of the malls also they will keep as a convex mirror okay so convex mirror is a field of view will be more the place uses is a car side mirror and also uh, this kind of turning area they will use okay and concave mirror it's a shaving mirror and searching light torch light okay car headlight solar uh, furnace okay these are the place they will use as the concave mirror okay now we are going to the another part of the uh, uh, another part of the story that is a uh, refraction of the light okay now we'll we are going to discuss refraction of the light refraction of the light the light is going to refract from one medium to another medium okay that is a refraction of the light in case i am taken like this the light is traveling from first medium to second medium in case i am taken like this a to g the light is traveling from air medium to glass medium okay so like this i am taken a to w the light is traveling from air medium to water okay in case i am taken like this the light is traveling from yeah to diamond okay so these are the common uh, the refractive index of glass with respect to the air that means the light is traveling from air to glass refractive index of water with respect to the air means the light is traveling from air to water the refractive index of diamond with respect to the air that means the light is traveling from air to diamond okay so this uh, so first i will tell you this are the this is a term of refractive index i will explain what is a refractive index okay so first we will see some of the terms then we will see what is a refractive index okay so uh, so this are the five terms is very important when you are learning as a refraction of light c is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second and velocity of the light in glass it's 2 into 10 power 8 meter per second velocity of the light in water it's 2.25 into 10 power 8 meter per second okay so refractive index of a to g is approximately 1.5 no unit okay the again refractive index of a to w is 1.33 it's a no unit okay so from this these are the five data just to have idea about it okay uh, my suggestion just to memorize this value with uh, this value if you are memorizing very easy to calculate the problem whatever they are asking in cbsc exam you can calculate very easily uh, uh, all the problems all the numericals especially from a uh, refraction of the light okay so first we will see what is the refraction of the light the refraction of the light light is traveling from one medium to another medium okay so in case uh, this is a medium it's a glass medium okay so it is a rarer medium it is a denser medium okay uh, this is a normal 
and it is an incident light okay so pq is an incident light okay so it is an incident angle m m dash is the uh, yes, uh, refracting surface, okay. Otherwise, yes, yes dash also you can take it, okay. So, when the light is passes rarer medium to denser medium, it deviates towards the normal, okay. So, what is refraction of the light? When the light is traveling from one medium to another medium, it deviated from a path because of the uh, changing the velocity of the light. In case denser to rarer medium, it deviates towards the normal because the speed of the light will be decreased, okay. Again, I am going to tell you uh, when the light is traveling from rarer medium to denser medium, opposite to this case, okay. So, opposite to this case, it's a rarer medium to, uh, it's a denser medium to rarer medium, okay. When the light is traveling denser medium to rarer medium, it deviate away the normal, the velocity of the light will be increased, okay. So, when the light is traveling rarer to denser, it deviate towards normal, velocity of the light will be uh, decrease when the light is traveled denser to rarer velocity of the light will be increased okay so when the light is traveling at perpendicular to the normal undeviately it will be traveled as a straight line okay so this is a, a refraction okay now i'm going to tell you what is refraction the refraction of the light when light is traveling from one medium to another medium it deviated from its path that we can call as a refraction of the light okay so now we are going to exp i am going to explain what is a law of refraction okay law of refraction so there are two laws of refraction two laws of refraction first law will be when the incident ray normal and emer uh, emergent ray it will be lies in the same plane incident ray refracted ray and a normal lies in the same plane that means when the light is entering perpendicular to the glass surface yes yes dash we are taken as a glass surface okay uh, perpendicular to the glass surface undeviately it will be travel as a straight line okay so it is a uh, uh, incident ray refracted ray normal lies in the same place the another thing second one okay so this is a normal we'll take this as a normal okay this as a normal uh, so it is an incident angle and this is a refracted angle as we know light is traveling from rarer to denser medium it deviates towards the normal okay so incident angle and refracted angle sine angle of incident is directly proportional to sine angle of refraction okay so when we are removing this directly proportional we will get as a refractive index sine i is equal to mu of 1 to 2 that means rarer medium to denser medium sine r so mu of 1 to 2 is equal to sin i by sin r. 